Tasty. Tasty. Yeah. This book is titled The First and Second Day of School by me, written in 1985. I don't know what grade that is, like third or fourth grade or something. I was 11, I guess. Or, yeah, yeah, 11. So I don't know what grade that is. Chapter one, uh, the first and second day of school. Chapter one, first day. It was terrible on my first day of school. I had tons of work. Half of it was homework. The class had so much work, we didn't have lunch. My sandwich got soggy, my drink turned hot, and my apples turned brown and mushy. After school, I went to my friend's house. Good girl, Daisy. Yes. I did my homework there. Then played war with him. I got shot ten times. He didn't even get shot. Then I went home. For supper, we had liver and onions. Which I actually like now. Before I went to bed, I barfed it up. That night, I dreamt about my second day of school. I dreamt about tons of work, no lunch, a soggy sandwich, hot drink, and apples brown and mushy. I also dreamt of being beat in war. Yes, good girl, Daisy. Chapter 2, The Second Day The next day, I ate a good, healthy breakfast. Then I went to school. We had three subjects, handwriting, math, and science. I finished my work in one hour. After I finished my work, I went outside and played. I stayed outside for 30 minutes. Then I went back inside because it was getting cold. Get it? It's right here. Am I going to get it? Yes. Yes, good girl. When I got inside, it started snowing. The windows were open and the snow was blowing in the classroom. Suddenly the classroom was full of snow. The bell rang and everybody tried to find their way out of the classroom. Yes. Daisy. Here. Good girl. Here. I found my way out and went home. When I got home, I put on warm clothes. Then I went and played in the snow. For the rest of the school year, it snowed, and there was no school. The end. And that is the completion of my first ever book. And only book, Daisy. Do you want to smell again? 
there's nothing really that interesting to smell on it. It's want more food? Here. Yes. Is that a burp? Hey, you moved a little. Good girl. Yes. Yes. You want more? You want more? Yeah? Yeah? I'm actually calling Daisy by a new name, but I'm not going to say it on this video because I'm the only one that gets to call her it for now. As far as the rest of the world knows, she is Daisy. Hi. And she does kind of even within a day, she kind of is starting to get that that's what I call her. But, oh, good girl. Moved more. I knew you were hungry. You only ate like two bites of food in the past two days. Earlier tonight, she actually came out of the room head lowered like she was scared to death and saw me in the kitchen which she had to have known I was there because I wasn't being quiet and then saw me and lowered her head and went back and laid down Yes. Can you get it? Can you get it? Hey. Yes. Here, look. Can you get it? All you gotta do is lick your tongue in there, probably. It's not like it's that big of a cup. Oh, so much effort. So much effort, Daisy. 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 Oh, uh, now, now you perk back up. So much effort. Oh. Here. You want another one? Here. You want another one? Here. Daisy, Daisy, here, here, good girl, there you go, yes,
Тихо. There's a whole bowl out there. You're welcome to it. And there's water. You haven't drank water since yesterday afternoon. All right. Anyway, I read something that said maybe I should just try sitting down and reading to her every night and giving her treats. But since we're kind of starting over with her eating, issues apparently <laughs> treats or food um, and I guess she's hungry enough to accept that so anyway that's all bye